First at 10, new surveillance video in the search for three suspects wanted for an armed robbery in a busy part of D.C. Yeah, the couple speaking exclusively to 7 News about the terrifying experience that nearly cost them their lives. And it comes as we continue to track what's being done to stop the violence. 7 News, John Rogers. Can't Don't split the pole. You see the sun, man? He walking around committing mm -hmm. crime, but he made mm -hmm. sure he, he don't split the pole. Damn, Damn. superstition, man. Their lives. And it comes as we continue to track what's being done. It was literally every, every sun so person in New Orleans that I knew. It's working, though. I mean, like, these guys probably been arrested a hundred times. But. Rogers joins us live in Northwest. And, John, this all went down as the couple was just walking home from dinner. Scott, Michelle, the Adams Morgan neighborhood here is a hot spot. There's lots of restaurants here. It's well lit. Look, there's even an elementary school here. The couple, they tell me that this crime was so brazen and sudden, they thought it was a TikTok prank. <laughs> in an instant, Gary Collins and Michelle Kern's lives were in the hands of three young robbery suspects. They grabbed us and then they pushed us over this fence. You can actually still see it's a bit bent, and they pushed us into the dirt. Around 11.45 last night, they just finished dinner and were walking along 18th Street when they spotted three young men across the road. You can see them in this surveillance video that Collins shared with us. As Collins... <laughs> they saw them, so they, they spotted them. And I'm sure their unconscious bias kicked in and they... they white people are fighting such an internal with woke white people. Like these people, right? These people right here, these people right here would be appalled by this. I mean, appalled. They would tell me I'm a disgrace to my race. Like these are the type of white people who just try to educate me. They would try to plead with me to change my views. Last night, they just finished dinner and were walking along 18th Street when they spotted three young men across the road. You can see them in this surveillance video that Collins shared with us. As Collins and Kearns walk in the background, the three young suspects go after them. Collins says at one point, you can see one suspect pull what appears to be a gun out of his pocket. Then it was five minutes of terror. And uh, next thing we knew, we were shoved to the ground. I had a gun in the side of my head. She had a gun in her chest and they immediately said, give us everything you have. The person with a gun on me, he was shaking, he was scared, um, if anything, and after. The person. Oh my God, he don't, was, please don't. He was, she's about to humanize him. Yeah. Trust me, she, she's trying to humanize him. He knew what he was I, doing was yeah. wrong. <laughs> DC woke is a different type of woke. It's like the epicenter. I've never been to San Francisco or Austin, or S Seattle, or Portland. But I just can't imagine them being more woke than D.C. people. But I just can't, especially D.C. whites. They immediately said, give us everything you have. The person with a gun on me, he was shaking. He was scared. Um, if anything, an ac accidental misfire was more likely than him actually intending to pull. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yo, they're a special breed, man. They are a special breed, man. They're it's certainly special. different. And and listen, man, that in real life, like at, at like a wine and cheese party or at a, you know what I'm saying, a function or something, with a bunch of them around, like amongst each other. It'd be all, mm-hmm. Mm oh, mm -hmm. my. God. <laughs> oh my mm. God. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, next thing we knew, we were shoved to the ground. I had a gun in the side of my head. She had a gun in her chest. And they immediately said, Give us everything you have. The person with a gun on me, he was shaking. He was scared. Um, if anything, an accidental misfire was more likely than him actually intending to pull the trigger. Collins was so nervous, he struggled to unlock his phone. But he's shaking. I'm shaking, trying to unlock the code to my phone. As a dad, it was weird because I sat there and I was talking to them almost as I'm being robbed like they were my child. And <laughs> Jesus There's no way this guy's a dad. This guy can't, he cannot protect kids. <laughs> 
truly I'm sickening. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. It is. It, this is them, man. This can is. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in on the notes act so we can we can see? Can you zoom in on the? Yeah, I can't zoom in on this one. This. How does he have kids? Yo, listen, man. <laughs> this is them. This is them. The typical DC liberal. The typical DC bolster. Listen, they voted. They're the remember, they're the only city that still has rising crime. You guys know that, right? Like all the other cities are not down from 2019. They're down from their records that they set since 2020. So the, most cities are down a few percentage points. DC is up 21%. It's like Vietnam and DC right now because of these motherfuckers. Just as much as the fucking black thugs that are doing the crime. It's these right. motherfuckers. Lock the code to my phone. As a dad, it was weird because I sat there and I was talking to them almost as I'm being robbed like they were my child. And, you know, I was saying, hey, it's okay, calm down. We're going to go ahead and get the phone open. You can take anything that you want. The group stole a wallet, phones, and keys, and then took off. They're still on the run. Because we were so calm, uh, I think that that's why we're alive. It really puts it into perspective of how real the, the crime problem is everywhere, but definitely here in D.C. Glad they're okay. Collins actually is a crime reporter with our parent company, Sinclair. So he says it's surreal to be on the other side of the story. He and his girlfriend, they do not plan to... We always talk about how these reporters must, to, to themselves, think... Ah, damn, that's another fucking sun word. We've got ten more sun words in line after this one. But, like, if, he, if he's a crime reporter, then if that's really the case, then he's exposed to this all the time, and he knows what's up. Yeah, no, but he, it doesn't change the wokeness. That's what I'm that's saying. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like even knowing it, it's still too powerful. Hey, uh, you know so you know so devious about wokeness. It makes people want to be victims. Mm. It makes it makes people revel in in victimhood. It is disgusting. Mm. I agree. Stories were falling for you across the. Shout out to Natasha, man. Natasha O'Deal and her um, glider husband, man. She says, NYC gliders are the most woke. I've been in New York. They're pretty woke. Don't get me wrong. But it's something about being down at the cap, you know, Capitol and the White House and all those pages and staffers they have in D.C. and Something about that crowd, man. Um they, you just gotta be around them, man. Like, and I'm a black guy, man. It's like your royalty, man. It's almost like, it's almost like when you see like Jane Goodall, or one of those people out in, with the, the gorillas out in the mist and shit, or I, with animals. 